ShopRite. And this is the real reason we're having this conversation. Quite a lot of talk about whether or not there's a deal in the offing with uh, Steinhoff to come because of the overlap of Christo Visa as a joint shareholder. Remember, it is the largest player. Lots of stores here in Southern Africa and, of course, outside of South Africa, elsewhere in Africa. I always get mad when people say, what is a company's Africa strategy? As though South Africa is on some island floating in the South Atlantic. No, we're part of Africa, for goodness sakes. Whitey Basson is the CEO, and we're talking here of a market cap of 110.6 billion rand. Price to earnings ratio 21.3, dividend yield 2.35%. Had a bit of a tough patch a couple of years ago, but seems to be hitting all-time highs again. You're right, Paul. And if you look at the, the later set of results, you know, they were, up until this last set of results, losing market share. Not dramatically, but losing yeah. a bit of market share to pick and pay. Yeah. That seems to have changed now. So uh, they've, uh, uh, they've got first mover advantage into the rest of Africa. Yeah. And in certain parts of Africa, in Angola, for example, they yeah. have a, a, a stonking uh, set of results coming yeah. out of there, from a low base, admittedly. And you've got to bear in mind that they made a strategic decision to go into Nigeria and Angola, oil-producing states. Yeah. Well, at the time, it seemed like a good idea. Not mm. such a good idea right now. Mm. But nevertheless, they've got very little competition in these countries, and yeah. they're, they're doing exceptionally well. So led by the mercurial... Um, James Wellwood Basson, uh, also known as Whitey, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. and no, it, it really, is, it's, it's, it's been a great turnaround situation. But I think what's what what you, the big lift yeah. has come in the past few days with Christo Visa saying, yes, I think that could well be a nice fit into Steinhoff. So there's the graph. So that's five years, and it doesn't look all that great, but it did very well off to the left of that, and then sort of hit an all-time high of around 200 rands a share, then it sort of drifted around for a few years, but has moved back up again. And I think, as you say, that's because they've sort of overcome and worked their way through the difficulties in those markets. Yep. So do you think it's realistic? Because I think uh, Christo Visa speaks for about 20 to 25, maybe at a push percent of ShopRite. Yeah. And but he controls a lot more in terms of the voting structure. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So, and it would make sense because Steinhoff has got Pepcor already. The only issue for me is does Steinhoff want as much emerging market uh, exposure as it would have if it were to take ShopRite on as well? Yes, I think it does. And I think the plan would be to take that ShopRite uh, pro tried and tested, proven mm. expertise and transplant it into many parts of Eastern Europe. Yes, uh, where they have, where they have a very a, a big Pepco presence already. And all sorts of exactly. stuff going on already. Okay, we're going to get a little shortened uh, of time here. So your sense, even at these levels, even with the South African consumer looking a bit tough, a bit weak? If you'd asked me six months ago, I'd have said not hot. Mm. Ask me now, i say definitely hot. Okay, I'm going to go hot for that one.